I joined the ministry and the first time when I began to see I was there for a while and I saw people were dying and people were always dying they're always somebody died every month somebody dies and these are not old people the young were dying the old were dying and something in me rose up I said Lord this is your house how can people keep dying like this so I said okay I'm going to join the intercessory department I was a pastor already, but you know, like I always say, when I came to the U.S., I didn't come here to do ministry. I didn't want to do ministry. I was so happy that no prophets here. We don't have unsolicited prophets in the U.S. Nobody's going to just walk up to you and be like, God says the call of God upon your life. You must serve. Nobody does that here, you know. So I was so happy. I was free. But you see, man proposes, God disposes. I'm here right now. Now. I, I joined the intercessory department and the moment I went into first time, I entered the prayer room and the Lord opened my eyes to see deep things. This tragedy going on in the church was from inside the church. There were certain members of the intercessors who have entered a covenant with the grave. Man of God, listen to me right now. Screen your intercessors. Screen them. Screen your intercessors. Screen them. Not everybody should gain entrance into your intercessory ministry. Screen your intercessors. Some of them are sent to pull the church down. Jeremiah 15 verse 21, he said, And I will deliver thee. This is your testimony. You who is of God. He said, I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible because you are mine. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Ecclesiastes 8, verse 13, the Bible says, But it will not be well with the wicked. Can somebody say it will not be well with the wicked? It will not be well with the wicked. Personally, when I hear terrible things happen, I will always just say this for out of anger and annoyance. When I hear somebody sick or some a child of God, something bad is happening, I'll be like, it will not be well with the wicked, you know. Somebody say it will not be well with the wicked. In the name of Jesus, it will not be well with the wicked ones. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible says, and the Bible says, it will not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which as a shadow, because he feareth not God. So those who it will be well with all of those who fear God. Now the Bible says the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. I want you to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, today in the name of Jesus, break the staff of the wicked. I don't know who this woman is. You are a widow. I want you to know that all the children whom God has given to you, they will be children of consolation. In the mighty name of Jesus, the last loss you suffered is the last you will ever suffer. In the mighty name of Jesus, continue to walk with God and continue to keep your prayer altar burning. I don't know who this is for. Pray, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, break the staff of the wicked. Oh Lord my God, break the staff of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, I break the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers, the wicked rulers. The, the staff of the wicked, we break it today in the mighty name of Jesus. And in Jeremiah 5 verse 26, God was saying, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set his nest. They set trap and they catch men. They, you know, the hunter set traps to catch meat, to catch meat, right? The, the fishermen set traps to catch fishes. But this one's the set trap to catch men. Open your mouth and say, every trap set for me, catch your setter. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know who has to pray this prayer right now. This is a new month. The year is rolling by really fast. Every trap set for me, catch your setter. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every trap set for me, set for my children, set for my husband, set for my loved ones, catch your setter. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every trap set for me and my loved ones, catch your setter. In the mighty name of Jesus.